Professor, tied as a trout streamer. I'm using a Mustad 3665A number 10 hook. I tie on the thread. This pattern calls for a gold tag. Which I'm getting ready now. Tie the tag in. A couple wraps towards the bend of the hook. And then I work my way back, wrapping over top of the tinsel that I wrapped at the start. Once I have the butt that or the tag that I want, tie the tinsel off and clip off the end. The next material that I'm going to put on will be some scarlet barbules off a saddle hackle. We want those to protrude out just past the end of the hook. So I tie those in, catch the the other end. Now we need the ribbing, this gold fine oval gold tinsel. Again I, I cut a piece probably four or five inches long for this. Lay the tinsel in. Wrap it back to the tag, then bring the thread forward towards the eye, ensuring that you leave enough room to put your head. The body for this fly is a gold floss. Working with floss, I always run it through my lips to wet it. Now I tie this in, leaving the loop where I, I doubled the floss over, and I'm leaving the loop out over the bend of the hook with enough uh, hanging out over so that when I, once I tie the body, I can bring it back over the top of the body, as you'll see here in a minute. Try to keep this loop laying on top of the hook. Once I've spun the body, I'll just catch that with a couple wraps of thread. Then this loop that I left out over the end, I bring it back over the top of the body and catch it with the thread. The reason I left that loop there is with floss bodies, they tend to unravel and travel down over the tag. This will eliminate that problem by locking the floss in place. Once the body's built, then I spin the gold rib over the body.
waiting for this this pattern will be the sparse wing made comprised of polar bear. Again, I milk all of the guard hairs out of that before I tie the wing material in. Now I want the wing just to extend no farther than the the um, tail. Once I tie the wing in, I always lift up the ends that I'm going to clip off and wrap the thread in behind it. That helps lock the wing in place so that it won't pull out on you. Some people would put a drop of glue in here, but this technique seems to keep the wing in place so it won't pull out on you. All that's left now is a collar hackle, which will be brown. I clip a few of the barbules off to makes it easier to catch that end with the thread. I leave the thread on the wing side of the hackle, the collar hackle that I'm going to spin, as I do with all of my hackles. Spin about three, sometimes four wraps of collar hackle. Then I'll bring my thread up through the collar hackle. And by doing that, if the hackle breaks, it won't unravel. The thread will catch it. It'll, maximum can unravel be one turn. Now I'll pull all the collar hackles, the barbules forward to make that cone shape over the wing. And then just whip finish it. on the head completes the fly. That is the professor, tied streamer style.